How is it already 2023? My mind is blown. This past year went by so fast. I feel like the older I get, the years just go by faster and faster and it's gonna keep going that way. And even though I got to do so many things this past year and it was a really busy year, it still went by so, so fast. And it's just not registering that it's 2023. Like I'm saying it, but it doesn't feel like it's 2023. It just hasn't fully hit me that another year has passed, but happy 2023, everyone. Today is January 1st of the new year. I'm not the biggest fan of new year's resolutions because I feel like you can improve your life at any given point of the year. You don't have to wait until the new year's to start or to make a change. But I do love the idea of a fresh slate for the new year, starting fresh from January 1st and making this new year your best yet. It's gonna be pretty hard to top 2022. I wanna say that was the best year of my life by far. I got to travel by far the most that I've ever done and I'm still kind of speechless about it. I look back at the year and all the things I got to experience and it feels very surreal. So I'm very grateful for that and 2022 holds a very special place in my heart, but I'm gonna see if I can try to top it this year and I'm not really sure everything that this year will bring for me, that's part of the excitement, but I do love to go into a new year with goals in mind and it kind of helps push me along the way. It's very lighthearted, it's just something to keep me going and keep me inspired. If you don't accomplish all of the goals, that is okay, it's not something where you should be so hard on yourself. It's more of a way to just self-reflect and grow into the person you want to be and build the life that you want to have. So. I have been doing a lot of reflecting the last couple weeks and I made a huge list of goals. Like I said, there's a ton of goals on this list, so if I don't accomplish them all this year, that is quite all right. But I am very, very excited to share them with you after reading them all out. And I did also make a vision board for the 2023 year. So if you haven't done that already, I definitely, definitely recommend doing it. I always make a vision board on the computer, like a digital version. But this year I decided to make a physical poster board. I just had a lot of fun with it and I felt like it was an even better way to inspire me and remind me of all the goals I have for the upcoming year. I do want to hang it on the wall. I have to find a frame first and then I'm going to hang it on the wall so that it's like a daily reminder. And then I'm also going to make a digital form of this so I have it on like my wallpaper of my phone. If you don't follow me already, make sure to follow me. I'll have all my socials linked below, but we've got a lot to get through, so let's jump right in. So I decided to break it down into categories because if it's just a big long list, it can be a bit overwhelming. So it's easier to look at and to share with you if it's in different categories. These categories were inspired or based off of what I heard in the Morning Ray podcast. I really like them, so I decided to use them for my own list. So the categories I have are money and prudence, career, family and relationships, friendships and sociability, health and wellness, travel, mind and body, and play and creativity. Do I have a fuzz on my mouth? Yep, we got it, don't worry. So those are the eight categories. I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. It's the easiest way to go. So the first category, like I said, is money and prudence. The first goal I have for myself financially this year is to save 80% of the income I make. So that is the income I make from YouTube and also from my job skating. I have a lot of plans for my future and what I want. So I wanna make sure that I have a lot of money saved to be able to do those things. And truth be told, I'm really pretty good at saving my money. So if I have a percentage, it'll keep me on track um, to reach that goal at the end of the year. So 10% is gonna be spending for fun. So like shopping or experiences, things that I wanna do just for my own happiness. And then the other 10% is going to be spending that will go back into my job. So if I wanna spend something for YouTube, like an expense for a new camera, new microphone, tripod, upgrade my software, something like that, that is still spending for fun, but it does recycle back into YouTube. So it's kind of like a, a work expense, if you will. The next financial goal I have for myself is to set up another investment. So I do have a Roth IRA already set up. I set that up like two years ago, but I really want to set something else up that doesn't necessarily have to be for retirement. I do have a financial advisor, so I have to talk with him and see what is going to be the best option for me, but definitely something I will be doing for this upcoming year. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good spreadsheet. I'm a very type A person if you haven't already gathered. So one of my goals for the year is to create a savings slash monthly budget spreadsheet just so that it's all in one place so I can access it at any time and it's just easy to track that way and I do want to make another spreadsheet so that one is for YouTube I want to make a spreadsheet for all of my YouTube collaborations I do have one now but it's not anything too special so I want to try and like spice it up a bit and just make it a little more organized so I can keep a log of all the brand deals that I do for this upcoming year the next category is career, so this is both skating and YouTube. Um, I didn't decide to separate the two because it's... I just didn't. <laughs> the 
first goal I have for myself is to develop my skating skills a bit more. As an entertainer and performer, you always are striving for your best, but because you are pretty much doing similar elements every show and we're not training like we're in competition, it can be repetitive and you can get comfortable just doing the same thing. So I really wanna push myself and try to work on my extension, uh, my edging, my posture, things like that. That's something that you can always work on. So I'm gonna be really intentional about working on that more this year. Another skating goal I have for myself is to get more pair elements on the ice. Last contract, I did get quite a few on the ice, which was really fun. And that was the first time I really got any elements on the ice. I've only ever done them on the floor. So next contract and in the future, I want to work on more elements and get them all on the ice because pairs is something I'm really interested in doing and it's also fun. And it's a really good challenge as well. My next career related goal is time management. I'm pretty good at managing my time, but I do try to do too many things at once and that ends up wasting a bit of time in between trying to juggle them all at the same time. So I wanna work on managing my time more so I have X amount of time for this and then move on to the next task and so on and so forth. So it's not like I'm trying to have 10 tabs open in my brain at one time because that's that's just how I live my life. The rest of my career goals have to do with YouTube. I want to really hone in on my channel this year because I have a lot of big goals. So the biggest goal I have for myself this year is to surpass 100,000 subscribers, which is crazy in itself just saying that because I never even knew that I would have 1,000 subscribers, let alone 50,000. So it is a very big goal of mine, but you know, it's better to dream big and I really do believe in myself and I believe that I can reach that milestone. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of hard work that goes into it, but I do really want to achieve this goal this year. Going along with that, I've been thinking about what kind of content I wanna make this upcoming year. I've been brainstorming a lot. A huge part of my life is like fitness and wellness and just overall health. So I really want to try and create more content like that on my channel this year or just incorporate it more. And then the other aspect is I want to focus more on travel content because I love to travel and it's something that I you know, want to be able to do for the rest of my life. And I want to gear my channel more towards travel once I am done working on the ship. I just wanna develop that style of cinematography more on my channel. So I'm gonna get really creative with my ideas. And if you guys have any ideas, let me know but that is definitely something to look forward to in the upcoming year. And obviously Last Contract was a blessing for that opportunity because I could film so many different travel related videos in all the countries I visited. The next goal I have is to optimize SEO and research tags for my YouTube. Because I'm on the ship and I don't have you know quick Wi-Fi access, I don't really look much into search engine optimization. Why was that so hard for me to say? But you know what I'm saying? Um, and I really think that will be a big, big help in growing my channel. So um, if I focus a lot of time and energy into that, that should help get my videos out to more people. Next goal of mine is to work with new brands this year. I've been really fortunate to work with a bunch of really great brands over the last couple of years, and I'm just so, so appreciative. So I have a list of brands I wanna work with this year, and hopefully, or I'm gonna manifest it we will work with them this upcoming. I do also wanna focus more energy into Instagram content. So like daily pictures and reels, especially reels. I've been getting more into them the last month or two and they've been a lot of fun and I feel like they're getting better the more that I do them. So also wanna focus on that. I also want to create a digital product. I have a few ideas of what I might wanna make, but stay tuned for that. And then the last goal for my career category, again, is a very big goal, but we're gonna aim high. I really want to have a five figure month on YouTube. So obviously I have my skating job, which makes me money, but I wanna make five figures on YouTube in one given month and hopefully continue. <laughs> Next category is family and relationships. First one I said is that I want to allow more time in my day to check in with everyone. Obviously I can't text every single family member, like extended family, stuff like that. But if I just give myself more time every day to send a quick text or a voice memo, something like that, then I will be happy. I wanna call my grandma more often. I do call her a good amount when I'm away on a contract, but she does sit at home. So I can just call her every single day and see what she's up to and talk to her, which would be really nice. Because the category is family relationships, this also has to do with relationships. Um, so as I said, I do have a boyfriend and our relationship is so easy. He's phenomenal, but that doesn't mean that you can't continue to be more intentional. So I've put on the list to continue building my relationship. So things like daily check-ins and finding new like date night ideas. Another goal on my list is to continue building healthy communication skills. That one 
is pretty self-explanatory. And then the final one is to practice active listening. I don't want to do my own horn, but I really think that I improved a lot on this this past year. When I'm having a conversation, I get really excited. So I tend to sometimes cut in a little too soon and I don't want to cut anyone off. So I've been trying to sit, wait, listen to what the other person has to say and then respond to it rather than just talking in advance. My next category is friendships and sociability. I have a few for this as well. First one is to keep in touch more with my friends, kind of similar to family. I want to make a goal to send a voice memo at least once a week to my closest friends that I talk to regularly to give them an update on life. And that's pretty much the easiest way for us to stay connected, I would say, because we can FaceTime, but we all have different schedules. And, you know, sometimes people aren't available to talk when you are, vice versa. So I feel like a voice memo is a great way to share stories and things like that without having to plan a specific time. Another thing I have is to say yes to more social events. This last contract, I was still really social, but I didn't go out and do stuff too much around the ship just because I always wanted to get off the port really early, but it is always fun to do social things and go back deck. Yeah, just hang out with other people. So I'm gonna say yes to more things this next year. And then another goal I have for myself for the upcoming year is to plan regular cast activities on board. So for my next contract, I wanna try and not be in charge of it, but organize some kind of cast bonding that we can have because I did that a lot on adventure and it was super fun to hang out with the cast when we weren't working. The next category is health and wellness. I have quite a few for this. So uh, first one is to just keep up with my skincare. I've been really good at this since I've gotten home. Um, I've been loving my Fervor skincare products, so I'll have them linked below. They're so, so good. It's not sponsored or anything. I've been seeing such an improvement with my skin using them, and they're very affordable. So I want to just keep up with that skincare regimen, you know? And also I have an ice roller, so I want to keep up with that as well. Another thing I want to do is to try a few different workouts. So I've been dipping my toe the last couple months and trying to switch it up here and there. And I think that that's going to be really beneficial for the upcoming year and fun, and it's going to keep exercise fresh and exciting for me. I love to work out, but yeah, I can get bored like anyone does. You know, you can lose motivation. So I feel like this will be a good goal to have for myself. My next goal has to do with water. I feel like everyone has this on their list and it's so redundant, but I want to drink more water this year. I feel like it comes and goes in waves with me. Like at one point I'll drink a ton of water and then I'll kind of fall off and then I'll go back and then, you know, it just goes in waves. So I want to make a conscious effort to drink a gallon of water every single day and I also want to have at least one glass of lemon water a day. Another goal of mine is to go on a 30 minute walk at least five times a week. In my head I'd like to do it every single day but realistically I put five times a week because you never know you know what your schedule might be like and not that that's an excuse but I might be you know on ice all day so I don't need to necessarily or have time or energy to go on a walk after you know 12 hours on the ice another thing i really want to do this year is to follow a fitness program there's a ton of fitness creators that have programs that they've created and they're very affordable so i'd like to look into that and try one i don't know which one if you have recs let me know my last goal for this category is to experiment with new recipes since i have a kitchen right now that is something i definitely really want to do my next category is my favorite it's travel so I didn't want to make too many goals for this category because you just never know what's going to happen or where you're going to go. So I'm pretty broad on these goals, but we still have them. First goal I have is to visit five new countries. So I'd like to visit more than five countries this year. If they're countries that I have already been to, that's great. But I want to try and see at least five new countries this year. Another goal when I'm traveling is to try the local cuisine in whichever country that I'm in. I was doing this quite a bit when I was in Europe last contract, so I want to continue with that. But I want to be even more adventurous. Uh, this one, I guess, is kind of like a work goal, but I put it under travel. It's I really want to work with Airbnb or a hotel or even like another travel like booking agency or company or app or something something <laughs> and the next goal i have is to use public transport in a new city or country i feel like that is an experience in itself that you should do no matter where you are just because it's different all over the world my next category is mind and body so this i actually have quite a few for i want to get back into affirmations and manifestations i was pretty good at manifesting for a long time and i still do manifest but i haven't been the best at affirmations so that's something that I want to challenge myself with this year. My next goal is really wholesome. It's to watch more sunsets this year. I love watching sunrises and sunsets. So it's just important to stop for a couple minutes and just enjoy the beauty. And we have some of the best sunsets at sea, just saying. Another goal I have for mind and body is to stretch more. I was really stretching a ton on my adventure contract and I was as well last contract, but not quite as much. So. When I'm watching a series or something, I want to make a conscious effort to be stretching while I'm you know, watching a show or reading a book or something like that. This one is going to be tricky for me. I've really, really been wanting to do this for a while. And that is no phone use when I wake up. 
I wake up to my alarm, which is fine. But once I turn the alarm off, I have to make it a habit to not go straight on my phone, check my notifications, and scroll on Instagram aimlessly. So that is a huge goal for myself this year. I really think I could do it. I just, you know, mind over matter. I absolutely love journaling, but it comes and goes in waves, like I said, with another habit of mine. So I really want to develop a journaling habit and a habit tracker. My last goal for this category is going to be a challenge, but I'm really going to try. It's to create boundaries for myself for a good work-life balance. Because they kind of go hand in hand for me, I'm showing you my life, I'm vlogging, what I'm doing on a daily. It doesn't really feel like work to me, but it still is work. And I want to try and separate the two more this year. So when the day is done, when it's like six or seven o'clock, I want to be done with work for the night. I tend to always be checking emails, always be checking comments, you know, always doing something for work on my phone, on my computer, whatever it is until I go to sleep and from the second I wake up. So I need to find a more separate balance, if you will. The last category is play and creativity, so very lighthearted and fun. The first goal I have for myself is to utilize my sketchbook more often. If you didn't know, I went to school for fashion. I love to come up with different designs and I just find it really therapeutic. Just have more fun with sketching when I can. I have so many sketchbooks and I need to make a conscious effort to use them more often because otherwise they just sit in my drawer. I have become such a big reader this past year and I read, I don't even know how many books I read this year, but quite a few, like more than I've ever read in a year. So I'm very proud of myself. This upcoming year, I wanna read 20 books and I think that I can easily do that, especially if I'm just reading when I'm laying on the beach. I'm quite a fast reader, so I think that's why I can get through books fast. And I love to read before bed, so. Yeah, 20 books we're aiming for. The next one is sort of random, but I want to experiment with new colorful eyeshadow looks. I have a new palette that I got from Amazon and the colors are so vibrant. So I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Actually, this goal is inspired by my friend Megan from The Ship. She was a singer on board. She had the sickest eyeshadow looks and every day I saw her, she had something different. She was very creative, so that has inspired me. My next goal is to start a new project. It's very vague. I don't really know what it is. I don't have any ideas, but I want to try some kind of new project, scrapbooking, crocheting like who knows and the last goal is to get back into bullet journaling i think bullet journaling is so much fun as someone who likes to draw you know you can really personalize it to whatever you want so i just want to get back into that those are all my goals i know very ambitious i have a lot a lot of goals but go big or go home so now i'm going to show you my vision board that i made yesterday so here is the board i hope the glare isn't too annoying i'm trying to angle it Personally, I think it's a lot easier to accomplish goals and push and stay motivated when you have a visual to look at. So I've just picked a bunch of different pictures from Pinterest or pictures that I have taken, printed them out and made them into a sort of a collage to give me a reminder of all of the different goals that I have. I'm not gonna go through each picture because that would take forever, but this is my, my board and I'm very proud of it. Believe it or not, we have made it to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing all of the goals I have for myself this upcoming year. If you haven't already, I would definitely recommend making a vision board and jotting down a list of the goals you want to accomplish for the year. Like I said, I love starting on like a clean slate and you know, this year is full of possibilities. So I'm just really looking forward to it. And if you have made it to the end of this video, let me know one of your biggest goals for yourself for this upcoming year. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Get excited for a bunch of really exciting content coming soon. I am also leaving for my Florida contract this week. So I'm gonna have packing content, travel content, you know, rehearsal content, all that sort of stuff. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And that is all. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.